ಅನುದಿನ ಅನುಕ್ಷಣ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಕಲಿಕೆಯ ಹೊಸ ಹಾದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜೊತೆಗೂಡಿ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯ ಹಾಕೋಣ ಸಂತಸದಿ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಾಯಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ Hello namaste welcome back to class of english dear students how are you doing how is everything going on i hope you are doing well you are studying daily completing every single homework and assignment that is being given by all the english teachers you remember my name i am dhananjay english teacher working in mhps kanagiri dear students in the previous classes we have tried to understand beautiful lessons and beautiful poems in that you may remember the lesson name monkeys and the trees and after before that there was one more beautiful lesson that is plant eaters and also we have completed one more beautiful poem authorship but today i am going to make all of you to enjoy one more beautiful poem but before that let me tell you something dear students this earth is beautiful earth is so beautiful because it is not only belonging to human beings here are animals insects wild animals creatures different kinds of biodiversity is existing on this very planet in the entire universe if there is only one place to live if there is on, only one place to inhabit it then that is earth no other place in this universe is suitable or conducive for any living beings to sustain and grow but the earth is beautiful because all living creatures can take their birth they can live and they can lead their lives here you can see on the screen what is the, what you, what can you see on the screen there is a beautiful picture of moon dear kids look at the picture and imagine what comes in your mind when you see the moon do you can you see a moon during the day or is it possible for you to see the moon during the night moonlight is so enjoyable it is more possible in the countryside or in the hamlets in the village side but unfortunately highly populated dense cities and the residents of these big metro cities cannot sometimes have opportunity to see the beautiful moon dear students i am going to ask you few more questions on this during the evening during the twilight during the sunset after the sunset if you look at the sky like this how beautiful the entire space is all about so what can you see who what is the most big and the striking object that you can see in the sky especially when it is dark yes of course that is moon and what comes in your mind when you think of moon let's see another picture look at that how beautiful it is the moon seems to sink in the moon seems to dive into the sea waters they kids all we remember our grandmas or at least our mamas our mothers when we are so small when we are tiny kids when we are making so much of fuss and irritating them when we are not able to eat the food mamas always to used to show us the moon hey look at the moon there is moon he is seeing you some stories some we they used to make us look at the moon and and see some wonders and that's the kind of plan they used to make we used to have the food then still you can see lot of mothers take their babies outside and show the moon when they are actually feeding the baby so lot of stories come when we see the moon look at the picture how beautiful it is seen the moon is actually getting drowned sea waters how beautiful 
and when we think of moon he is not completely white he is not completely milky there are some scars there are some dots there are some marks and these and sometimes i remember when my mother was telling stories she used to say can you see the moon i used to say yes on the moon there is a deer you know deer animal some with some dots she used to uh, make a, she used to make me to believe that there is a deer so for all of us moon has always excited us and he is going to excite lot more generations to come look at the picture how beautiful it is shown there let's see one more picture about the moon wow look at that the moon is surrounded by dots of stars stars are independent celestial bodies they are not like dependent science says moon is satellite for earth planet but there are several billions infinite you cannot count so many stars are spread it across this universe we never know how many actual number of stars are and each star may have several planets and several planets may have several thousand millions of these you know satellites moon of course is only one satellite for earth and that's the reason you can see how beautiful picture it is lot of and you know it's a great fun many a times you remember even today people switch off the lights during nights purposely intentionally they take all the prepared all the cooked food on the terrace in the moonlight they will have that beautiful dinner you do, are you part of such dinners yes of course you will be otherwise you plan once with your family it's going to be very enjoyable and you will have lot of fun all right kids let's get ahead there is a poem in your textbook eighth poem the name of the poem is silver we are going to read the poem first then understand line by line then the entire just summary of the poem then we'll get ahead let's start yes let me you also you can also read the poem silver slowly silently now the moon walks the night in her silver shoon this way and that she peers and sees silver fruits upon silver trees let me read again slowly silently now the moon walks the night in a silver shoon this way and that she peers and sees silver fruits upon silver trees look at this beautiful picture do you enjoy seeing this picture dear kids look at the picture moon covering white color on its surface on a surface spreading the white light like everywhere and that milky white light is reflecting on each and every object of the earth look back the lines let me show you the lines how does moonlight enters look at the line slowly steadily silently no noise when full moon happens the entire big moon appears on the sky does it make sound does it no sound at all just appearance just the majestic appearance Sil slowly silently now the moon walks the night look at the beautiful line moon walks the night that means moon actually starts his duty he is walking in the night that means his duty begins in the dark his his duty begins in the night he walks silently he walks slowly in her silver shoon the moon is compared to she a woman a girl beautiful girl in her silver shoon shoon means shoes it is like a fairy queen or a fairy princess getting ready to go for a parade to go for a procession to go for a majestic procession where all the people of the kingdom stand and watch and witness that parade in the same way 
slowly silently now the moon walks in the night in her silver shoon her shoon is made of silver she has started walking then this way and that she peers and sees look at the line she slowly walks everywhere and everywhere she sees she observes then silver fruits upon silver trees now we will get silver fruits upon silver trees you have all watched you have all observed the color of silver the silver color is much more similar to the moonlight whitish milky type in the same way here the poet says the poet says silver fruits upon silver trees silver fruits upon silver trees why is he telling like that because you can see in the picture the moonlight beautifully has come over the leaves the branches and trees and fruits that is why he is telling everything is looking silver everything everything is looking whitish this is because the moonlight this is because moon started her walk wearing shoes of silver everywhere her light is being spreaded everything is looking silver let us go ahead slowly look at this one more beautiful line one by one the seismen sketch her beams beneath the silvery touch crouched in his kennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog one by one the says the casement sketch a beams beneath the silvery touch crouched in a kennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog we will understand the lines meanings of this one by one look at this one more beautiful picture that i have brought for you the beautiful moon just has she has begun her walk just she started her walk she has put her legs in the shoes of silver and she is spreading light on the trees and the fruits and the leaves and everything and we will continue reading few more lines then i will come back to the meaning of this poem from their shadowy coat the white breasts peep of doves in a silver feather sleep a harvest mouse goes scampering by with silver claws and silver eye a moveless fish in the water gleam with silver reeds in a silver stream dear kids this entire poem is beautiful but before that poem i want all of you to have a look these words that are there in the poem and we better know the meaning of each word then we go back to the meaning of the poem what is the meaning of shoon it's an old english shoon is shoes modern days we are shoes uh, it's it's a footwear actually so footwear is called as shoon in those days then casement is a window thatch roof recovering covering of straw crouch bend the body closer to the ground kennel is a place where dog used to reside coat shelter of birds scamper run quickly taking short steps gleam means shine let us see the words again shoon means shoes casement window thatch roof covering of straw crouch bend the body closer to the ground kennel a small house for a dog we all have houses right we have we all live in a home but do we have pet animals at home do you have pet animals at home do you have a dog if you have a dog do you have a special separate house for it if it has a house of its own to live then you can call it as kennel coat shelter of birds scamper run quickly taking short steps gleam means glittering shining these are the words that actually we need to understand for the better understanding of the poem all right my
my dear students, let's get back to something important. Once again, I want to read the entire poem for you. Then we will go for the summary of the poem. Slowly, silently, now the moon walks the night in her silver shoon. This way and that she peers and sees silver fruits upon silver trees. One by one, the casements catch her beams beneath the silvery thatch. Crouch in his nennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog. Look at these beautiful lines. It is actually an imagination how the moonlight comes on everything. It comes on the window pane, it comes on the kennel, it comes in the casements. It, it, it is spread across everything and it makes everything look silver, look white. Then the poem continues. From their shadowy coat, the white breast peep of does in silver feathered sleep. Look at that. The does, the pigeons are slept in their nests. And the feathers, the feathers of does look silver. They look silver. Why they look silver? Because of the moonlight. In the same way, a harvest mouse... Harvest mouse means it's a type of mouse. You have seen mice. There are diff different breeds of mice. So this is one type of mouse. Uh, a harvest mouse goes scampering by. It moves very rapidly. It takes the shortcut steps. It moves very quickly. With silver claws and silver eye. Look at this. This harvest mouse has got what type of eye? What kind of claws? It's a silver claw. It's a silver eye. Why is it looking silver? Because of moonlight. Moonlight, it has gone on everything. It has touched everybody. It is being there and it is giving its life to everyone. Moonlight is making everything snowy, everything silver. And later, <coughs> look at the line. A moonless fish in the water gleam by silver reeds in silver stream. Even the fish in the water is getting the color of silver. It's looking like white. Why is it happening? Because of the entire earth is being blanketed by the light of moon. Moonlight has taken the control of the entire night. It is spreaded across everyone, everything, mm. making the silver color everywhere. Let's get ahead. <clears throat> These are the words I have already discussed with you. And what is the summary of this poem? Let's see. The poem Silver is written by Walter D. La Mer. He is a wonderful poet. The poet Walter D. La Mer composed the poem and that poem name is Silver. This is in your textbook, the last eighth poem. So let's go ahead with a few more interesting things. The poem Silver is written by Walter de la Mer. The poem talks about the moon. Of course, the entire poem is all about moon. The poem talks about the moon observing each and everything and have its moonlight casts upon trees and animals. That's what I have been telling in this poem. It's all about moon and the moonlight. And the moonlight has gone on everywhere. Trees, fruits, birds, animals, insects. There is a serenity all over. The night is shiny. How is the night? The night is shiny with the silvery shine of the moon. Beautiful line. The entire night is not dull. The entire night is not gloomy. The entire night is lit by the light of moonlight. And everywhere there is silvery, silvery color. And the next one is, all the things and animals are drenched. Look at the line. All the things and animals are drenched in the silver shine of the moon. 
drench means getting soaked getting wet getting covered by for example if you are playing in rain you all get drenched with water rain drops you get wet you get dampened in the same way here in the poem everything is being drenched by the moonlight moonlight if it is a rain if you come if you imagine the moonlight is like a rain which has spreaded on everyone fallen on everyone and it has drenched everyone and everything so there is serenity all over the night is shiny with the silver shine of the moon all the things and animals are drenched in the silvery shine of the moon the poem begins with the moon moving slowly and silently with her silver shine and then she peers and sees the silver fruits upon the silver trees that's what i'm telling how the poem has begun if the princess moon the queen moon or the princess moon she plays her legs she plays her feet in the silver shoes she started her journey she started her parade she had started her procession as if she is the queen of a space when she started going what has happened her moonlight spreaded everywhere on the trees and the fruits on the insects on the animals and everything and slowly and silently she started after that then the casement catches her beams beneath the silvery thatch the dog is compared to a log who is couched and sleeping in his kennel with his silvery paws during the night time comfortably the dog is sleeping in his home that is kennel and even upon him the silver light the moonlight is spreaded his paws paws mean sharp nails are looking like silvery type so this is the brief summary of the poem the doves are sleeping with their silver feathers the feathers of doves are also silvery they are whitish and the white breast peep from the shadowy coat the moon further sees the scrambling mouse with silver claws and eyes the poem ends with moonless fish where the reed and stream are silver this is all i have discussed in detail in total the summary of the poem is beautiful the moon starts her journey giving away her light every to everyone and everything making every single object and animal on the earth look white look silver may it be fruits may it be tree may it be mouse may it be uh, doves may it be fish at the last this poem i think you have all enjoyed let's get ahead dear kids if you have understood the poem that i have discussed with you now i want to ask you some of the questions the questions as follow number 1 what time of the day is described in the poem day means not 12 hours it is 24 hours what time of the day is described in the poem or i may ask you the question in a different way when does the moon come when does the moon come when does the moon arise of course night time how is the moon described let me read the questions then we have answers because in that time you can also think of answers how is the moon described what is the major color referred to in the poem fourth question why has why has the poet used the color why do trees and fruits appear silver what makes everything in the poem look silver these are the six questions that are there and for this let us see the answers one by one quickly first question is what time of the day is described in the poem night is the time described in the poem second question how is the moon described the moon is described as queen who slowly silently walks question number 3 what is the major color referred to in the poem we have seen the entire poem what is the main color or what is the focused highlighted color answer is easy the answer is white or silver color is being discussed major or mostly in the poem then the fourth question who has the why has the poet used the color why did the poet use this color very simple question because as the light of moon is silvery obviously the poet has used the color look at the answer the poet has used 
the color to highlight the moon and his color and her color you can say the fifth question why do trees and fruits appear silvery why the trees and fruits look silvery what is the reason answer is easy because they are getting the moonlight and the color of moonlight is silver so the color of trees and fruit look silver but still we see the answer the trees and the fruits look silvery as the moonlight is poured on them moonlight is smeared on them let us see the last question dear kids <clears throat> what makes everything in the poem look silvery the entire poem is all about the color of silver the beauty of moon and how the beauty of moon affected influenced the objects animals on the earth let's see the answer the beautiful milky moonlight in the night makes every single object on earth look silvery as the moon moves slowly and silently his light or her light is reflected on everything and hence everything comes under his light so this is the some of the answers dear kids i think you have understood the poem and the questions are easy you can answer yourself i want all of you to read the poem enjoy the poem make the, make the understanding of the poem and answer the questions even in your own words you don't have to depend on the answers that i have given you are free to think of the answers of your own but the answers must be appropriate and correct let's see this <clears throat> some homework i want to give you before i depart this english class what is the homework and assignment that will help you to understand the poem much better draw the picture of moon and paste it on classroom notice board so you'll have to draw a picture of moon you can use creativity you can take the help from your parents but i think i want you to do this work on your own draw the picture of moon and paste it on classroom notice board the second one collect the pictures of all planets what you what should you do collect the pictures of all planets of solar system we know that we are living in solar system and the so sun is being the center of all these activities and sun has got nine friends or nine planets i want you to collect the pictures of all the planets in solar system and i want you to make an album when you open an album somebody teaches your friends your parents even if i'm going to come to see i should be able to see that you have pasted all the plants of solar system make it as an album the next one is make a list of similar and different pictures that you have seen similar pictures and different pictures similar means similarity looking alike one another different means totally opposite totally uh, varied kind of pictures and i want you to collect a similar and different pictures related to the universe related to the nature related to the surrounding of your home or school the last one i want to say is as this poem is beautiful meaningful and it makes us to think imagine and appreciate of course dear kids i want you to practice this poem and remember this poem is for memorization i hope we have all enjoyed reciting this poem understanding the poem and summary of this poem and i want you to read appreciate and memorize thank you so much for listening this poem i am your english teacher dhananjay take care bye bye anudina anukshana mane yellu kaliyona kalikeya hosa hadiyali jothe gudi hecheya hakona santa chadi kaliyona Yes sir yes teacher the same ma'am